Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a walkthrough video for MathSoundManners.com. This is Reading Scale Standards 5A. So this is a great worksheet because it gives us a bunch of different measurements that you're definitely going to see, and it shows you how you go about uh, finding the measurements. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, we're looking at a ruler here. These are just standard measurements here, not metric, and ask how long. So we're given here that this is in inches, and one of the things you need to know is the inches are listed here at the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now, the confusing part for most students is what happens when we get into these little lines. So we need to understand a couple things. One, this right here, that's the longest line in between the three and the four, so that means that is three and a half. The other thing, okay, we have the next smallest line. We have this is uh, three and one fourth. So the reason why that is, is because we have one, two, three, and then this would be the fourth one, okay, to make a hole. So between each of these, there's four. You go one, two, three, four, and that's why it's split up into four sections, okay? That's what makes it a fourth, okay? I'm gonna erase that, okay? I'm gonna actually go back if you wanna pause and kind of understand that. Okay, you can always rewind this video. All right, so that's fourths. Now let's look at another one. So we got half down, and the reason why that's half, let me show you again. So here we have one half on this side, one half on this side, okay? That's half, two, and you can see one part out of two uh, parts for the whole, okay? Now, the smallest units, we didn't even cover the smallest ones now. Let's use a different color, let's use purple. We have these little lines. How many lines in between three to four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means there's eight little parts here, and that would make each one of these lines an eighth. So that would be three and one eighth, okay? So those are our building blocks. We're gonna use those to find out how far we are according to this line. So let's say we're measuring some piece of wood, plywood, whatever we're talking about, and it arrives here. Well, we're gonna line it up to this nearest line. It's right on this one. I'm going to count how many little lines, because this is a little line in itself, okay? It's not a fourth, it's not a half, it's this little one, which is an eighth. How many eighths is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven eighths, but again, we started off with three inches, so it's three inches and seven eighths, not quite to four, okay? So another way to do this is start at four, go back one eighth, and you're going to get three to seven eighths. So this one is three and seven eighths inches okay we need to put that inches there if you want to put inches like this that's fine okay but i the abbreviation is that apostrophe as it just showed okay moving on to the next one hopefully we got this moving on to this one okay now good i'm glad we see a different example here we're at one we know we're going to have one inch but we're not to two inches yet notice here we have a short line but it's longer than the eighth this is our fourth so we have one fourth here because we only went to the first one inches. So one and one fourth inches. Now technically, you're like, well, Mr. West, I know you just talked about eighths. Well, that's the second eighth. Well, guess what? These are equivalent. One and one fourth is equivalent to one and two eighths. But again, the most simple way to say it is one and one fourth. Moving on. Now we're talking about these cups. Okay, so here we have uh, two cups is the biggest one. There's one cup right there, and here we have one and a half, and then half a cup right there. So we have a lot of measurements in between. We need to take a close look here. So this one says one cup. I know it may not look like it, but it does. It says one cup right there. And we need, to, I'm gonna go back to, this is more visible. So we have one cup right here, and we need to decide where this level is. So it's a very similar process to what we did before. Okay, we're going to count the number of units. So, again, this is half, one and a half, because here's one half, there's two halves. Two halves to make a whole, to get us to two cups. Now, here's a quarter, because I can take one, two, three, four to get there. Okay, but now, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these little lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. So that means this is an eighth. All these little lines are eighths. So that's one eighth right there. We started off at one cup, so that means one and one eighth cup. Okay, that's where that measurement is. 
There's even a sal- I just noticed that little salamander there. All right, awesome. Okay, moving on to number four. This time it's a little bit above the half. Okay, so let's see where we go. Uh, but again, it's on this little line. It's not on the quarter line. It's not on the half line. It's on this little line. So we know we're going to have an eighth here. So how much? One, two, three, four, five. That's one and five eighths. Again, not to two quite, but above one. One and five eighths cup. Now, one thing you'll note, five eighths is definitely bigger than a half. A half would be four eighths. So if you want to just think, okay, I know it's going to be bigger than four. How much bigger than four? I went up one. One and five eighths. How many cups for this guy? Okay, we're less than a half a cup. Okay, how much is a half a cup? Hopefully you recognize it's four eighths. So how many less than four eighths? Well, I just go down one. I went minus one eighth, doing some fraction uh, addition subtraction here. This is going to be three eighths, but I'm just going to show you another way to do it in case that was too fast for you. We start at zero. This time, that's zero, okay? Here's one, so zero's here. We go one, two, three. Those are eighths, three eighths. We get the same thing going both ways, so we have three eighths cups. Okay, we're gonna finish up real fast here. Um, I'm gonna do this one. We should be pretty familiar. Ooh, actually, this one's a little bit different. Okay, notice how there's more lines on this one. This one is actually what a true ruler is gonna look like. These are sixteenths. So here's my eighths. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are sixteenths, which is even smaller than an eighth. And there's sixteen of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Just in case you didn't believe me. All right, now I don't think it lands on that sixteenth, that small one, but it does land on this one. We know that's a quarter, so this is actually going to be two and a quarter inch inches. Okay. Because there's that's the that's the the quarter inch mark. Okay, let's see if this one arrives on 16. It does not, but it does look like it uh, lands on an eighth. Again, these are eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and it's on the third one. That's three eighths, three and three eighths inches is our measurement for this guy. So we didn't have to use the 16th. I think in some of these other worksheets you do. This is 5a. Keep in mind, if you have one that has 16ths, you may have to keep that in mind, all right? So now we're talking about uh, weight here. This is our final section. And you'll notice here we have one, uh, two, three, four. The reds are whole numbers, okay? The black is half units. And why is that? Well, if this is seven and we have one unit in between, that makes this a half, one, two. Two parts to get to the whole, okay? That makes this... 7.5 or seven and a half. Seven and a half, and it's not pounds. The whole thing, 16 ounces in a pound, so these are ounces, seven and a half ounces. How heavy for this one? It's not to the six yet, so it's gotta be less than six. Here's five, that's gonna be five and a half ounces. OZ is the abbreviation for ounces, by the way. You can see it here. And then this guy is 14 and a half ounces. So again, keep in mind, your worksheet may have 16s. Uh, again, it's the same process I kind of showed you here. I'll show you real quick what it would be if you did have 16s. So we can even uh, call this in, in terms of 16s. Let me get a different color. So if this were 16s, we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6 16 So we could call that 6 16 inches. It's equivalent but the reduced form is three and three eighths. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out lots of great resources like this on MathSalamanders.com. I have a playlist for all Math Salamanders videos if you want to check that out. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time on Wes Explains Best.